Hi, welcome back for another episode. So in our last episode, we uh, flew a couple of science missions, and that unlocked another six points for us. Uh, so let's see where we can spend those. Our next two big um, science uh, things are a little bit of gatekeepers, uh, so we're going to need to get a few more points. But the um, both of them are, are right here, and one is the science air electronics research, and that opens up the solar panels for us. And then the other one is Science Era Material Science. Um, and that opens up Tank 3 as well as Tank 3 Balloon. Uh, so those are, are pretty crucial to our um, achieving orbit. Because um, once we can unlock the Satellite Era Material Science, that will open up the 1965-1975 orbital rocketry. It's going to be quite a while before we get into those, um, but this uh, particular node is holding that up and achieving orbit. Uh, unlike uh, Kerbal Space Program, where you can basically achieve orbit easily in Tech Zero, um, there um, does require quite a bit of knowledge about rockets themselves and unlocking uh, a few nodes to be able to achieve orbit in a in an earth type situation and um, to achieve orbit with um, with a moderate skill as opposed to uh, you know an expert player skill then you definitely are going to need to unlock those those rockets so we're going to come back to our um, our whack corporal build here um, and we're going to do some upgrades. We're going to get into the true Aero B style rockets uh, and uh, and the upgrades available for that. So I'm going to spend a little bit of money here. And this will allow us to get more altitude achievements as well as to be able to take up heavier payloads. So we can come down here to our engine tab and we can notice that for 1000 uh, we can purchase the XASR upgrade and that will allow us um, to have a much more efficient uh, burn ratio. So we're going to spend that 1000 um, and then from ne then on it will only cost us 10 to upgrade a normal uh, WAC Corporal engine to the XASR-1. Okay, so that upgrade is is made available. The other thing we can do now because of that let's make sure this is the correct engine yeah you'll notice our thrust to weight ratio um, goes up drastically so we can take our tank and basically put on two tanks at this point so let's go ahead and grab this and put on a few more make sure those are all set to the right fuel type so we're going to go with the, I believe the blend changes as well um, for this engine. Okay, so there we go. So now we have a much longer rocket, um, and we still um, actually, I think we're going to go ahead and I'm going to keep those here, but I think we're going to go ahead and tool a uh, two meter version of this tank. tool the tank and you notice if you've already tooled the tank in a particular diameter tooling longer versions aren't that much more they're only 250 so we can go ahead and purchase that and then um, do something like this okay and then we'll fill these up and there we go we're at about 56 seconds of burn time if we look at our engine statistics for that particular model get the Kerbal Redux out of the way uh, we'll notice that with the XA uh, there's the AG10 the XASR-1 we can burn for 65 seconds so if we wanted to uh, we could go ahead and probably put in another um, one meter tank here let's take out one of those and yeah now we're getting closer to that um, 65 seconds uh, this makes for quite a long rocket and where our 
avionics is not up to snuff at this point I'm not going to do that uh, but we do have that option available um, to uh, down the road so oh, didn't quite get that on there there we go let's also turn this back to space bar turn that back straight up for now um, right now I just need to cover up the fins that are in there so this exposed parts um, fairly aerodynamic if you want to see how well your um, rocket is for flying you can come into far here and there's a neat little simulation for um, transonic design and so if you zoom out here so you can see your rocket I'm getting quite a few screens up here but you can hit this show cross section and what that will show you is that um, and let's take this off because that is affecting the cross section no it's not okay um, you'll notice that there's your cross section in green um, so the effect of that just seems really weird we're ending up with a large bump there um, of this uh, fairing is causing that to be our, our aerodynamic cross section. Uh, we could try and smooth this out so that it's not such a hard transition, uh, but it's it's less than if we didn't have a fairing at all. So if we go ahead and try it now. Uh, Uh, it doesn't appear to be updating. I uh, may have to go back out and in. That can give you some information about that. Uh, your pressure coefficient, that's the one that's uh, that you should pay attention to if you have some very large transitions. And now I think it's updating based upon the without the fairing because that is quite the spike there for the pressure. Um, but anyways, min minimize curvature to minimize wave drag. And, and the, um, the, um, the less aggressive this graph looks, the better your rocket will be for flying efficiently. So that's uh, just a tool that there that's available for you if you're wondering how efficient your rocket is. Okay. Let's get our clamp back on there. And the other thing we can do... Um, is we can upgrade this to the A9 um, and that's 30,000 to purchase that the other option is the RD100 I'm just going to pull off our A9 for now and just stick this up here so we can take a look at that I left those graph lines on in far let's turn that off there we go and so with the RD100, we can unlock the um, RD101. The RD101 is a much cheaper upgrade. Um, with that said, I'm not entirely sure on this, but I believe the A9 is a better rocket. But for the sake of variety and, the, and adding content, um, we're going to go ahead and, and do the RD101. So... Let's go ahead and we'll get rid of our A9 or A4. We will upgrade our engine to the RD101, and it only costs us 75 after that initial purchase. And then we need to change our fuels here to match the um, RD101. So we're going to remove our liquid oxygen tank and our ethanol tank. Um, the RD101 does not come with HTP that makes it a little easier because you can just hit the um, add fuels and it will be balanced uh, so you don't have to do the little uh, slider game to try and balance out with um, as much HTP as in the engine itself um, downside is is you know that uh, um, you don't get a little bonus fuel in the bottom of your rocket as well so <clears throat> So there we go. Uh, we have, let's save this as the 
um, X A S R R D 101 and then let's load up and so you can see the difference here so we're at 4000 uh, 37 for our Delta V we're currently um, need much bigger tanks on on the RD 101 uh, we can have a lot of, of potential there for some more Delta V but let's go ahead and open up our old um, whack uh, um, a4 interesting uh, note as well um, so that we actually did have a little bit more Delta V but with that said this rocket is maxed out um, but interesting note the um, whack is named after the women's um, army corp I believe or it might be women's aviation corp uh, so that's that's kind of neat so okay so let's go back here let's load see what size our tanks are here so these are two and a half um, just uh, do we want to go oh, we don't need high pressure tanks let's go three meters seeing if three meter tanks make sure our staging is correct Wow, we have a lot of, yeah, we have a lot of Delta V something. Okay, we're going to need much, much bigger tanks here because we're, we're at uh, four and we should probably be at least two or lower. So let's go to five. Oh, that's why. It lost its, uh, the tank. Well, let's see what, uh, five is for both of them. Okay, so that's just a hair. I, uh, when we get into more advanced rockets, I won't mind as much, but our avionics package just it makes it hard to control with that. So let's go ahead and come down to four. I think also with this engine... Um, yeah, the runtime, and this will be our first launch on this as well. So, the runtime on the RD 101 is 85, uh, so that's uh, 60 from 85, 35? 6 and 3 is no, 6 and 2 is eight 25 so we're we're way over as well uh, on that burn time so let's see what a four meter tank yeah that's better so two four meter tanks let's go ahead and tool those because they are a bigger tank they're gonna cost us a little more um, but we're gonna we're gonna use that too so uh, probably could have just done that with a uh, another three or two and a half meter tank but we do have some bigger tanks for later down the road uh, we'll do a lot with the uh, 1.65 the uh, smaller uh, 300 millimeter tank that's gonna uh, go away here shortly but we'll be doing a lot with the 1.65 tanks so uh, okay uh, let's move these back up so they look reasonable I'm just going to move them up here so they're actually sitting on the tank. We could build a boat tail uh, for that engine to help a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's say, okay, let's go ahead and move this uh, rocket up as a whole. Oh, that's moving everything. Uh, I just wanted to latch on a little lower here and then move the rocket up to there we go okay so there here is our next uh, forte into the um, see if we can set some altitude records and we'll possibly load this rocket down so we can do some payload stuff too so
We'll save it and we'll launch it. All right, welcome back. Before we uh, go ahead and roll that out, I'm gonna see what we've got for our sounding rocket difficulty. And we do have a um, 58 unit one, so we're gonna go ahead and accept that. Modify our rocket here real quick and add those uh, 58 units. Let's go ahead and edit. Will well exceed the 100,000 even with the 58s and and the, having some weight up at the top will add a little bit more stability to this rocket. So, okay, so let's go ahead and show you UI on the tank and remove, add. Oh, we're so close. We can do 57. Um, so we're going to make this just a little longer. And there we go. Yeah, let's just make it. Let's see if we can do this without incurring a tooling cost. So we'll just extend this until we see that tool item and then go back just a little bit. There we go. That'll give us 58, 59. So we'll update that. Update. That's not updating here. I just want to double check. Okay, there's our 59.6. And the mission required 58. So we got more than enough. Okay. Let's go ahead and save those edits. And then uh, we'll continue through. And then launch this. Okay, warp to complete. All right, we got our new rocket loaded up here, uh, ready to go. So we'll have to ignite the engine first as we did before with the A4 series. Wait for it to build up enough thrust and then let it loose. Hopefully we have a pretty successful launch. This is our first flight of the RD-101 engine. Um, looking at test flight. Yeah, we, we're just barely tracking up uh, data units on that particular one. So, uh, very high chance of a failure on this launch. Uh, hopefully, though, everything will go well. Still looking good. Looks like we're going to have a, a good, successful launch here. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and spin this up if we can. We may be too high into the atmosphere. We should have started spinning a little earlier. Let's see if we can get any spin at all. Looks like that's what we're going to have to take. Launch our eulage motors. Launch that new... XASR01. Since that particular motor um, is an upgrade, we start off with the um, existing data. So now we didn't quite get enough spin. We're we're drifting pretty hard. Um, we may want to rush that avionics unit so that we can add uh, a little bit more control to this and start looking into RCS because we're getting some really high altitudes and uh, our fins unfortunately are, are worthless above uh, 60,000. There's there is just too thin. So, all right. Let's see where we end up with. We probably are not yeah, at 686. So we didn't get an altitude record uh, simply because we started shooting sideways. Uh, but we were able to complete our sounding rocket difficulty mission. So, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and 
use range safety on this. Hope you enjoy this episode. And have a great day.